Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Magnus with Wallopus Drum Rap, and it is well overdue for us to make an updated uh, instruction video on the absolute simplest, most foolproof way to wrap uh, a drum. So this is of course our Wallopus Drum Rap, which is um, a lot more flexible than what you see in traditional drum rap. Uh, it's very kink resistant, uh, completely crack resistant, and extremely durable in every other way. Um, so this is the default flexible version of our wrap, but if you prefer traditional stiff drum wrap, all you have to do is request it in the order comments box on the checkout page when you place your order, and we will make it traditional stiff for you. This particular design is brand new. I haven't even come up with a name for it yet, but once I do, it will be added on the website under the Sparkalicious category. Um, I really hope the camera captures how crazy sparkly this wrap is. It is absolutely like glitterific. Um, it's one of our true sparkles, meaning there are real sparkle particles in this wrap. I mean millions, and it's full coverage. There are no bald spots, so to speak, in the coverage of the sparkle particles. It is completely covered just like the old-fashioned what they call glitters, but our particles are smaller because um, they are much more plentiful. Anyway, enough about the wrap. What we've done uh, in advance of making this video is I've trimmed the wrap, the width of the wrap, so that it's uh, got a quarter inch on each side from the edge of the shell. I've trimmed the length of the wrap so that we have a total of about half an inch overlap. And I have applied a strip of double-sided tape to one of the ends. Um, the best tape I've found to use for this is regular uh, carpet tape that you can find in your home improvement center in the flooring department. Um, it's very strong, uh, it's very easy to get a hold of, reasonably cheap. Um, the only thing you want to do with it is, is, because it's about this wide, is cut it lengthwise to half the width, and it's like this. Um, there are lots of other suitable double-sided tapes. Um, the only one I want you to avoid is the, the stuff they sell at the, at the dollar store for uh, putting photos in photo albums. That stuff uh, just isn't strong enough, but really any other double-sided tape is, is great for this purpose. The only thing I've done to the shell is, of course, remove the old wrap. And I gave it a quick sanding where the uh, old adhesive strip or double-sided tape was because otherwise it's really sticky and that makes this process a bit more difficult. What we want to do first is determine where we're going to have our overlap, our seam, in our drum wrap. And we do that by uh, locating the clamp, the bracket, the mounting bracket. Uh, in this case it's a 10 inch floor tom. I think it's from a Tom Rockstar. Um, so we locate the mounting bracket, because this is a 10 inch, it's probably going to be on my left, meaning if I were sitting as the drummer now, it would end up something like this, which means I want to put the seam over on this side facing me, the drummer, not the audience. Um, so I'm going to put the seam on this line of lug holes right here. So, next thing is we simply take the wrap, and because we have about half an inch overlap, we're just going to go a little over those lug holes, and then attempt to line it up somewhat with the edge of the shell, just by looking at it like that. If this doesn't get straight the first time, it's no biggie. With this method, you can try this as many times as you want until you're satisfied. So for the first attempt, we just clamp it on with these little handy clamps here. If you don't have clamps like this, you can raid um, your grandma's laundry basket because your grandma probably still hangs her clothes to dry outside on a clothesline. And you will find some similar looking gadgets that are used for hanging laundry on a clothesline. And they work pretty good too. And then we're just going to roll this around the shell and check how well it lines up on the other side. In this case, it lined up perfectly the first time around. That happens about 1 in 20 times, almost never. What I want to uh, caution now, and this is very important, this is one of the few things that can go wrong. Let's say that you get to here and it's like that, not quite lined up. Do not force it to line up and try to pull it. It's not going to work. You're going to end up with one end, one side, nice and tight, 
and the other side is going to have an air bubble with it that's going to be very visible when you put the, the, the lugs and the hardware back on and you're going to regret it and wish that you had taken your time. Instead, if it doesn't line up the first time, unroll it, undo one of these little clamps, make some little adjustments, put the clamp back on, and then roll it up again. There's no reason to rush this step because you will regret it if you do afterwards, but rather take your time, do this as many times as it takes to get it nice and straight, or almost straight. I mean, the old wrap you took off, pretty good chance it wasn't perfectly straight because from the factory it rarely is, but I just got lucky this time and got it straight the first time. Myself, I keep doing this over and over until it's straight every time, and like I said, it's only one time in 20 times that it ends up this straight right off the bat. Once we've done that, we clamp on the trailing edge as well, and then I go around the shell all the way around again, pushing the wrap in front of me with my thumbs like this because if it wasn't quite tight before this is going to push let's call it a wave in front of your thumbs that you're going to be able to push along all the way to where these clamps are and then release that wave under these clamps so that you end up with a very nice tight uh, well wrapped shell and I do this a few times, I'll do it again. The bigger the drum, the more times you're going to do this. When I do floor toms or bass drums, I actually sit on a couch and I have the drum in my lap doing this and that way I have my thumbs for the sides and I put my knee right in the center here and use my knee as a hold down in the center as I roll it around and that works really well. Um, but there are probably other ways of doing it too. If you're going to use your knee, I do that with shorts because bare skin has a little bit better traction than uh, a pair of jeans. And there we have it. We've gotten the, the slack out of it all the way around. Like I said, the bigger the drum, the more times you have to go around. On a bass drum, you might have to go around five times before you get out all the slack. And again, with this method, you can do it as many times as you want. Take your time, make it perfect. So now that we're pleased, we know it's wrapped tight all the way around, all we have to do is to take the uh, backing off. Oh, there's a little piece of backing right here. Take the backing off from this hair strip of double-sided tape. Let's see if I can get this backing off. I don't have big hands, but sometimes I wish they were smaller. Get the backing off, like so. And then I use one hand, let's see if I can get so you guys can see this. I use this hand to hold down, in this case my right hand, to hold down the leading edge. And then I use this hand to do a final tightening of the trailing edge and then affix it with the double-sided tape in the center. Sneak a finger under there and make sure that this is flat and affix there. And then the same thing over on this side. Affix it along, take off the clamps and voila, that's it, you're done. That wasn't so hard, was it? Um, well, I really hope you guys can see the sparkle on, on this stuff. So, the only thing left, of course, is to make the holes uh, in the wrap. The safest and easiest way to do that is to drill from the inside with a drill. Um, this is also very important. So there are two things that are really important when you're wrapping. Two, only two things that can go wrong. And one, it's don't force alignment at the edge. Go back and start over if it doesn't align. And two, when you make the holes in your wrap for the lugs, you have to make the holes in the wrap as big as the holes in the shell. Even if the, the screw posts on the lugs are smaller, so they will fit through a smaller hole, you still have to make this hole as big as the hole in the shell. Because otherwise, you're, when you tighten your tension rod, the lug is going to push against the wrap instead of the drum shell causing the wrap to make a bulge here and you've probably seen that now and then especially on cheaper drum kits and that's what causes that so very important make the hole in the wrap the same size as the hole in the shell easiest way drill from the inside on a 10 that can be hard if you don't have a small drill the other way to do it 
is to take an X-Acto knife, puncture a hole from the inside, and then from the outside use the X-Acto knife to cut around. It's a little bit difficult because the wrap is tough, so it takes some cutting, and because it takes a bit of force, you've got to be really careful not to uh, go too shallow with the knife because you could very easily slip because you're using a fair bit of force when you're cutting. And if you slip, imagine where that hand goes when it has a lot of force right into your leg, your groin, stomach, maybe your other hand, and certainly make an ugly scratch in the wrap, which would be a big pity when you just finish your wrap job. So if you are going to go from the outside with an X-Acto knife, yes, it works. But be very, very careful. I'm not going to be responsible if you, uh, if you stab yourself in the stomach. That's it. I can't think of anything I may have missed. Um, I hope this video was useful and that it gives you inspiration. Um, I hope you dig my new wrap design, but it's certainly not for anyone, everyone because it's pretty wild. Um, we do have a lot of quieter designs too. Check it out on wallopus.com. Um, like I said, I hope this is useful. And when you do wrap your own drums with Wallopus Drum Wrap, please send me pictures when you're done. We love getting pictures of wrap drums and I will put every one of them up on the gallery on the website. And uh, if you make a video like this, send that to me as well. I will put that up too, either on the website or on our Facebook page. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for your time. You guys are awesome. Uh, hopefully we won't be that long until we put up another video. 